always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. It's going to be a cold night tonight, but actually pretty close to average. The thing is, we haven't had too many nights this winter that have been average. Live look outside. This is Kalamazoo. You can see snow coating the ground. Beautiful scene here and a few of the holiday lights still up. Temps tonight should be dropping down into the teens, and in many cases, we've already settled there. We're just going to stay there more than likely because the wind is out of the southwest for most locations. Notice Muskegon sitting pretty at 30 degrees. That's because a decent amount of the air is coming in over Lake Michigan. Ludington and Holland are also a little bit more mild compared to some areas is further inland but January has been so mild so if we look at January day by day we just paint each day in depending on if it was above normal or below normal we only had three days that were colder than usual 26 of the days of January were above normal and only two clocked in close to normal now usually you see a nice sampling on either side but 26 days above normal that's pretty significant here's the thing we're moving into February which typically features a warming trend in a given year because the daylight and the increased daylight starts to add on to our temperature so by the time we get to February 28th average highs for our area usually 38 degrees average low still 22 and we typically see about 17 inches of snow through the month speaking of February the outlook looks like it should be leaning a little wetter than average and pretty close to average in terms of temperatures but we are going to see the next couple of days is pretty seasonably cold, but then we are going to flip back to a warming pattern. Let's talk about Thursday. Thursday we open with temps in the teens. We should be climbing pretty quickly into the 20s, and we only top out at about 29. Notice that we start the day with sunshine, but we finish it with cloud cover. So by tomorrow afternoon, we expect the clouds to roll back in, overtake the sky. That's because we have a cold front that's going to be moving through. It's not going to bring a lot of snow with it, but it is going to drop our temperatures, especially as we set up for Friday. Here's the thing, drop in temperatures, not a huge deal, especially compared to what they're dealing with in other spots of the nation. Huge ice storm ongoing right now. Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, Arkansas, down through Texas, not great conditions for those areas. Here's our drier cold front. A few flurries are possible tomorrow in the afternoon. Not expecting too much, however. And then Friday, we should remain on the cold side. So how cold? Temperatures for our overnight lows have the potential of dropping below zero for a couple of nights. So the first one would be Thursday night into Friday, and then again Friday night into Saturday. If we have a bit more cloud cover, though, should keep us close to zero. Still, that should be pretty chilly. Eight-day forecast, you can see 16 for high on Friday. Then Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be once again warming up into the 30s. So by the time we get to Sunday, we cross that threshold, and we have above freezing days stretching on through next week.